The white dots shown here are seismic stations. The seismic network is the biggest one of the CTBT global alarm system. It consists of 170 stations. 50 stations send data continuously. Another 120 send data on request. What you see here is the inside of the Earth. The red circles are seismic waves caused by an event deep in the ground, like an earthquake. Seismic waves cause vibrations in the ground. When they arrive at a station, they are detected by its seismometers. Here you see a typical seismic station built as an array. Some arrays can consist of up to 25 seismometers. This one has 10. They are arranged in two concentric circles with two seismometers in the center. A seismometer needs to be connected to solid rock to detect seismic waves most efficiently. At this station, seismometers are deployed at the bottom of boreholes. These boreholes can be up to 100 meters deep. With an array, one can determine from where seismic waves arrive. This helps to locate an event. Seismometers arranged as an array also amplify the seismic signal against seismic background noise. One of the two central seismometers covers a broader frequency range. It provides information on the depth and magnitude of an event. When seismic waves hit a seismometer, the instrument transforms the vibrations into electrical signals. These signals are then sent by radio to a central recording facility. There, computers record the data and prepare them for transmission via satellite link to the CTBTO in Vienna. The entire process takes only a few seconds. Here you can see it all happening again. Seismic waves arrive at a station are transformed into electrical signals which are transmitted to a central recording facility and from there via satellite link to the CTBTO in Vienna. There data are processed and analyzed immediately upon arrival to clarify the nature of the recorded event.